and in general is being able to provide. Now we hear it from the agency. UNEP, Sarah, floor is yours. So, so thank you very much. And I also thank you for, for inviting us to share our experiences with implementing the, the, the Jeff funded Global Technology Needs Assessment Project, where we, since 2009, have, have supported more than 60 countries in, in conducting their TNAs and, and their technology action plans, with a, a planned 23 additional countries to come later this year. So what are we talking about when we talk about the TNAs and the, and the process of conducting a TNA? Well, it's a country-driven process and, and uh, there's a national TNA coordinator driving the process in the country with a national team of local consultants and sectoral or technology working groups. Um, countries start by identifying priorities based on existing processes and plans, thereby also their INDC or NDCs. So they take as a starting point already existing national priorities. And, and based on this, they identify technologies that can contribute uh, into reaching the targets set in their national context. Then they, the, there's a process with um, assessing the technologies and, and collecting information of why these technologies are useful in the local context. And the countries are then prioritizing technologies, again, with uh, nationally selected criteria reflecting social, economic, and, and environmental aspects for the country. After the prioritization of technologies within key sectors for mitigation and adaptation, the national teams work uh, on a more thorough in-depth assessment of what, what are the barriers and what are the measures which could uh, create enabling frameworks for the wider transfer and, and uptake of these key technologies. And the next step is translate, translating these um, identified enabling frameworks into technology action plans. The technology action plans are uh, sort of a roadmap which includes the actions required to create the enabling framework conditions for transfer and uptake of the technologies. So it's not only specific on the technology itself, but it, it includes the enabling framework. And um, the enabling framework also um, identifies these required actions and the technology action plans would then require cost estimates of finance needs to, to, to further implement this framework. And just to show you two examples of the of finance needs in two different technology action plans. One is from Azerbaijan in water leakage repair, and the other one um, is from Mauritius on uh, introducing desalination plans for hotels along the coastal zones. So you see that countries are, are identifying technology needs and financing requirements, not only for the technology, but for to create the enabling conditions to, to enhance uptake of the technologies. So how do we support countries in their TNAs? Well, as I said, it's, the work is done by national consultants. It is not a UNEP uh, DTU doing the work. It is uh, consultants like we have Bupu here with us today. Um, and we provide technical support. We provide uh, methodologies. We provide tools. We work with regional centers who support countries to go visit countries through technical support missions. We have regional training workshops where we bring countries together, both in terms of training of methodologies and tools, but also to facilitate sharing between the countries. Then a new element which would be introduced in, in future TNAs is also that we would uh, have national training workshops, since this is a request coming from the countries that a, a need for more broader training at a national level is required. So what we envisage is to, do in, to introduce two national training workshops as well. Then um, we, how to reach implementation. Well, we have seen this, um, we, we see this being discussed very often. Now countries come up with their technology action plans. It's, and with their project ideas. And we do see implementation, but we would really, what we are really trying to enhance the further implementation of, of these uh, ideas. And 
based on a COP mandate to the Technology Executive Committee, um, COP21, we closely collaborated in preparing a, a new guidance on, on how to prepare, prepare more details on the technology action plans. So that one was ready last year, and this is also a new element that we have uh, worked uh, together with the tech uh, in producing and that we are continuously using to support countries. Um, I list here also uh, three elements that we, from our experience working with countries, see as, as key to enhance action um, based on the um, based on the um, needs countries identify. We see that we we build capacity at a local level of individuals, but we also aim to create institutional level capacity building. We have seen this as a very successful factor for those countries who have been able to take their action plans into implementation. We saw in Lebanon that they have used the institutional structure provided by the TNA process, which was used again for preparation of their INDC and national communications, and that we see this, the synergies between the different processes and bringing their priorities into implementation. Then we, another aspect where we see countries are also successful in, in reaching implementation is where we have national champions. We need somebody to take the idea and run with it. If, we can have many plans and, and reports, but if nobody is taking responsibility and take the ideas further, it's difficult to see how, how it can reach towards implementation. And finally, and I think this was also repeated in the early presentation this morning, we do see a large gap in, in, in from the ideas to implementation and that we see countries are requesting further tec technical support and financial support in preparing their uh, full project proposals, for example, to access the finance which should be available for implementation of these actions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sarah. Um, even though we're still running behind, I don't want to cut it short. Are there any um, remarks?